Okay, so welcome back. Um, this is the continuation of the video on dimensioning. Um, getting my screen ready. Okay. So, Okay, so we left off on slide 21. Um, we said that we said that extend extend projection lines, okay, so that you use that to draw angles. Okay, extend the projection lines beyond the point of intersection, the red red dot here. Okay, extend it beyond the red dot here so that you use that for um, showing your angle. Okay, now on the next slide, row 22, it says that no gap, no gap should be left between the feature. In this case, this is my feature. Here's my feature. Okay, this feature here. It says it says step shaft or step rod. Okay, now it says that no gap should be left between the feature, okay, and the extension lines. All right, so here you can see. There is a gap. There is a gap. You can see a gap clearly there. Um, you see here there is a gap. Okay. There is another gap here. Okay. So this rule tells us that it's, it's not acceptable at all. At all, at all, at all. Not, it's a not, 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 not. Okay. But then when you come to the left, um, the left drawing, the right thing has been done. Okay. So here you see the gaps are here, but here there are no gaps. No gap here, no gap here, and no gap here. Okay. Okay. So that's that's very important. Then next, use a lead, use something called a leader line. If the space for dimensioning is insufficient. Okay. So here you can see our this 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 is what we call the leader line. Okay. Is is an area where it's very close to the border line. Or there's another drawing there. You do not want your lettering to 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 sort of mar the other drawing. Okay, so you are going to draw something called a leader a leader line. Okay, now in this case, the arrowheads may be reversed and the adjacent arrowheads may be replaced by a dot. Okay, so actually an arrow there should be a straight arrow pointing to this. Okay, but we extend the what we call the leader line and bend it at an angle. Okay. Now a leader line is a line referring to a feature. Okay. Here we have features A, B, and C. The feature could be an um, an object, an outline, and a dimension. Okay. So in part C, it's a dimension. The feature we are talking about is a dimension. In part B, it's a it's a, an odd. Out, outline or an object. Now, when the, 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 the leader line is showing something inside of the feature, like you can see in part A, it's showing something inside of the feature. In such a case, you use a dot, okay? Use a dot. Up until now, we have been dealing with arrows and extension lines, okay? You remember? But now you are using, up until now, we've been using, um, uh, arrows and arrows for dimension lines and then thin thin lines for extension lines but here now because of space we are using something because of space limitation we are using something we call a, a leader line and I we are saying that if it's pointing to the inside of the object you use a dot it terminates the leader line to dot okay and then if it's pointing to something on the surface you terminate it with an arrow all right, as you can see here. Okay. Now, if the object you are uh, showing, the object you are putting the leader line on is a dimension, you do not end, you do not terminate it with anything, neither an arrow or a dot. Okay. Hope that's clear. All right. Then, then the arrowheads, all the arrowheads, arrowheads should either be open, like in the first instance, or they should be closed, okay? Or 
closed and filled. Okay, that is what all our arrowheads should be like. Okay. So that brings us to the end of this slide. We are going to have a next, um, a next continuing lecture um, with what we call tolerance. So see you in the next video.